Information provided by Intertrain Inc. represents school bus safety as of the date of video publication. Intertrain, OME, and OECM are not obliged to update or correct this information. School bus safety and behavior expectations for first time riders. A badge reads Buzzy Bee's safety certificate. Out of a hanging beehive, a cartoon bee flies out, does a flip, waves, and smiles. Hello, everyone! My name is Buzzy B, and I will be your host today. I'm going to show you everything you need to know to ride the school bus safely. I just love teaching friends like you to ride the school bus. Sorry, I meant I just love teaching friends to ride the school bus. And why not? After all, the school bus has black and yellow colors, just like I do. I'm excited to be here with you. Welcome, everyone. I want to tell you a secret. Buzzy looks around. If you pay close attention today, at the end of our video, we will tell your parent or guardian about a very special website where you can find... Are you ready for this? Buzzy's School Bus Safety Certificate! It's colorful, it's exciting, it has my name on it, my picture, a bunch of school bus safety reminders, and that's not all. This certificate is also a coloring page. You can make it all your own with your crayons or markers. You could be a real Picasso. <laughs> Buzzy wears a beret. Your parent can enter your name and your school name right onto the certificate. Download it, print it, and keep it in your home to remind you of all the rules. And so you never forget your friend, Buzzy the Bee. There is information for everyone here today, so listen carefully. Let's get started. Buzzy flies off. Walking to your bus stop. In a street full of houses, a mom walks her son down their front steps. Walking to your school bus stop is good for the environment and keeps you healthy. Parents, all kindergarten students must be accompanied to and from the bus stop by an adult, guardian, or another responsible person. Mom holds the son's hand. You must be 5 to 10 minutes early arriving at your bus stop. The school bus driver has a lot of students to pick up and can't wait for you if you are late. Remember, we wait for the bus. The bus does not wait for us. You may see other students of all ages at the bus stop. At your bus stop. Stand on the inside of the sidewalk away from the road. If there is no sidewalk, stand on the shoulder as far away from the road as you can. Once you are at your bus stop, you must only stand where you have been told your bus stop is. Always be sure to respect your neighbor's property. When it is winter, do not stand on or play on snowbanks. If you are playing at your bus stop and not paying attention, you could slip onto the road. They wait at the stop. Watch the distance to see when your bus is coming. You will know it might be your bus when you see its amber-colored lights flashing. When you see your school bus coming. When you see your bus coming, line up in a nice straight line so that everyone can see and so that everyone is ready to get on when the bus stops. The school bus stop is no place for playing around. If you're playing around and not paying attention, you could fall onto the dangerous road. Lights flashing. The school bus pulls up. You might get excited when you see your school bus arrive, but stay calm. It comes to a halt. Wait for the bus to come to a complete stop and for the door to open before you get any closer to it. Lined up, the children board the bus one at a time. Never touch the outside of the bus. Remember, it is big, heavy, and it moves. Crossing in front of your school bus. If you must cross in front of the school bus in the morning, you must only cross with the person responsible for getting you to the bus stop. Wait until the bus is stopped and the crossing gate and stop arm are out. The driver will be holding up their hand in a wait position. The wait position means to wait on the sidewalk or side of the road until the next signal is given. If all of the traffic is stopped, 
the driver will change their hand signal to an open hand with a thumbs up. The open hand with a thumbs up tells you that it is safe to begin crossing the road. Look left, right, and left again. If you hear the bus horn, stay on the sidewalk. Or, if there is no sidewalk, stay on the side of the road. Look at the driver and follow their instructions. If the road is clear, cross to the other side. As you cross, the driver will guide you with their arm. Holding hands, the mom and son cross the road, following the driver's signals. A special note for our parents! Your child's morning and afternoon bus routes will have a designated route sign which will be located in the window. You will need to keep the route numbers handy in case you ever have to contact the school, the bus company, or the consortium. The sign is taped to the window, the danger zone. Friends, do you see the red rectangle? We call this the danger zone. The danger zone is an imaginary rectangle that shows you that it is dangerous 10 steps in all directions around the school bus. It is dangerous because the driver can't or may have difficulty seeing you if you are in the danger zone. You can see that the danger zone goes onto the sidewalk. Once the bus arrives, you must continue to be very careful. The danger zone goes all the way around the school bus. Never go behind the bus and never go in front of the bus unless the stop arm and crossing gate are out. Stay away from the tires and the side of the bus. Never try to touch the bus. Always remember and respect the danger zone when you are near the bus. Boarding the bus. Get on the bus one at a time. There is only room for one in the doorway. Hold the handrail as you climb up the stairs. The handrail will help you keep your balance. Holding the handrail is extra important in wet or snowy weather when the steps might be slippery. Say, everyone, what do you call a bee that drops things? A fumblebee! <laughs> a ball rolls under the bus. If you drop something under the bus, do not try to get it back yourself. Never go under or reach under the school bus for any reason. Remember, the bus is big, heavy, and it moves. The mom puts the ball in the kid's backpack. Your ball belongs in your backpack. If an object does not fit in your bag, do not bring it to school. You may say hello to the bus driver as you get on, but do not stop to talk because the driver does not have time. He smiles from his seat. The driver is in charge of the school bus. Always show respect and do what they ask right away. Go right to your seat, sit down, and get settled. The bus can't leave until you are sitting down. Riding on the bus. Use your quiet speaking voice when you are on your school bus. Kids check quietly in their seats. The driver must be able to hear. Once you sit down, you must stay seated for the whole bus ride. Even if the bus stops, do not change seats. You must always sit with your back in the seat, facing forward. Do not turn around in your seat. A boy turns, looking backwards. You must be seated properly in case the bus has to stop quickly. The boy slides his legs into the aisle. Keep your legs out of the aisle. This lets others get on without tripping. Do not snack on the bus. We want to keep the bus clean and other riders may have food allergies. Do not open the school bus windows without permission from the driver. If your window is open, do not throw anything out of the bus. Keep everything, including your arms and head, inside the bus. There are things like telephone poles, trees, cars, and trucks that could hurt you. Students, parents, and guardians, everyone is seated. So off we go. One, two, three, four. All the school bus, all the school bus rules. Everybody say, all the school bus, all the school bus rules. Staying seated, facing forward, bag on my lap. Here we go. Staying seated, facing forward, bag on my lap.
Drives to school. School bus loading zone. The bus has arrived at school. Parents, you should take your child to see his or her school before the first day. The bus may stop at other schools before or after your child's school. It will help your child to know what their school looks like so that they do not miss getting off at the right school. Also, teach your child the name of their school so they can tell the bus driver. Friends, I need you to use your imagination. I need you to imagine that our friends have been to school and are now on their way back home after school. One, two, three, four. On the school bus, on the school bus rules. On the school bus, on the school bus rules. On the school bus rules. Keep your snacks and your lunch bag. Emergency. All the school bus, all the school bus rules. If your bus has to stop because of an emergency during the ride, please listen to your bus driver. They will tell you what to do and keep you safe. He opens the back door. In a classroom, a toy bus smiles. Hello, everyone. My name is Buster the Bus. I am the magical school bus that travels all over Ontario teaching students just like you to ride the school bus safely. I am excited to be here today to help deliver the next lesson. Going home. As you ride the school bus home, look for things that will let you know your stop is coming soon. This could be a special house, tree, or even a park. When you think your stop is coming up, gather all of your belongings, including mitts, hats, books, and bags so that you are ready to get off when the bus stops. But remember, no standing until the bus comes to a complete stop. You must only get off at your bus stop. You must never get off at a friend's stop. If you think that you have missed your bus stop, tell the bus driver. Remember, they are there to help you. Getting off your school bus. Do not stand up until the bus has stopped completely. Parents, you must be 5 to 10 minutes early for pickup at the end of the day. Wait on the side of the road that the bus stops on. Parents, wait for the bus. Do not stand away from the bus in groups. Remember, the driver has other responsibilities, like ensuring traffic is stopped and watching the students to ensure no one enters the danger zone. Because the driver is so busy, it is up to you to share in the responsibility of staying safe. Students, if you don't see the person responsible for you at the bus stop, tell the bus driver and they will help you. Always hold the handrail when you are getting off the bus. When your child is getting off, approach the bus door to receive him or her. This will ensure your child makes visual contact with you, their guardian, or the person responsible for meeting them at the bus stop before they get off the bus. Once you are off of the school bus, you should remember the danger zone and be sure to move 10 steps away from the bus so that you are outside of the danger zone. Crossing in front of the bus. Some of you must cross in front of your school bus to get to your home. You will always be crossing the road with the person responsible for bringing you to the school bus stop. 
Always follow all of the rules when crossing the road, even if you are in a hurry. Take 10 steps forward so that you are past where the crossing gate is and so that the driver can see you. Turn and look at the bus driver. The driver will be holding up their hand in a wait position. The wait position means wait until the next signal is given. If all of the traffic is stopped, the driver will change their hand signal to an open hand with a thumbs up. The open hand with a thumbs up tells you that it is safe to begin crossing to almost the middle of the road. As you cross, the driver will guide you with their arm. When you get the signal from the driver, cross to almost the middle of the road and then stop. You must stop, look, and listen for cars or trucks that might not have stopped for the school bus. You must look left, right, and back to your left again. If you hear the bus horn before you cross, you must wait, look at the driver, and follow their instructions. The horn and wait signal means that the driver has seen the danger. You must wait, look at the driver, and follow their instructions. If you don't see any danger, you can cross to the other side and go home. Looking both ways, mother and son crossed the street in front of the bus. Thanks for listening, everyone. I will see you next time. Before I go, I would like to send things back to my friend, Buzzy. Buzzy! Buzzy flies near the mother and son. I want to thank each of you for being Buzzy Winks. Such an excellent audience. Always do your best to remember all of the rules you were taught today. It is very important that you do. Mother and son return home. Remember, student safety is a shared responsibility and everyone must do their part. Buzzy flies back to the beehive. I hope everyone practices what we learned today. The more you practice, the smoother your first day on the school bus will be. <laughs> I just can't help myself today. I will say goodbye now, but please watch our special 30 second review. When the review is complete, watch the screen for the special website address where your parents can download the coloring page certificate. Bye everyone! Buzzy flies back into the beehive. Review. Never touch the school bus because it is big, heavy, and it moves. When you see your bus coming, line up in a nice straight line so that everyone can see and so that everyone is ready to get on once the bus stops and the door opens. You must always sit facing forward with your back in the seat and your bag on your lap. Do not turn around in your seat or lean forward as you will not be ready if the bus stops quickly. If you think that you have missed your bus stop, don't be afraid to tell the bus driver. Remember, they are there to help you. If you don't see the person responsible for you at the bus stop, stay on the bus and tell the driver. The danger zone is an imaginary rectangle that shows you that it is dangerous 10 steps in all directions around the school bus. School bus safety and behavior expectations for first time riders. www.bussafety.ca Written, produced and directed by Intertrain. Executive Producer, Ontario Education Collaborative Marketplace. Funding provided by Ontario. Copyright 2017 to 2022, OECM. This video was created at the request of the OECM with funding from the OME. Information provided by Intertrain represents school bus safety as of the date of video publication. Information has been provided in accordance with industry standards and law. Although Intertrain ensures that the information is accurate, errors do occur. Accuracy cannot be guaranteed. 
In no event shall the OME, OECM, or Intertrain be liable for any direct, indirect, special, incidental, consequential, punitive, aggravated, or any other damages arising out of or in connection with the reliance on reproduction or distribution of this video or for any inaccuracy within materials, information, or recommendations in the video. This disclaimer of liability shall apply to the fullest extent permitted by law.